hello everyone my name is dorian welcome to another track guide with the f3 we are at spa and i'm just gonna show you guys the lap real quick and then we're gonna go over it corner by corner if you enjoy it leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments what you think that's it see you on the track Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one. Let's look for a breaking point. It's actually going to be, if you can see, it dips down here and then starts going uphill. So right as it starts going uphill, I would say around the 80, 80 mark. So if we had the 100 right here on our left, I'm not looking at it, but if you really want an indication, it's around the 80. As the car starts going uphill, you can see it quite visibly. This is when I start lifting and braking. And I'm going to break around 60-65%. Very short period of time. Start releasing the brakes as I do it. Sort of modulating it. I'm trying to make sure the front end doesn't lock up. I don't want to overheat the, re the fronts. Going down into second gear as I start to turn in. And into first very late. I don't want to put in first too early. I don't want to spin the car around. Now it could have been a bit tighter here. Um, there's a dip and as soon as you hit this dip as you can see I'm trail breaking into it as soon as I hit this dip I'm gonna smash the throttle because that compression is gonna give me a lot of grip and that's where you want to start really giving it a lot of throttle 70% ditch the probe just to make sure that the back end doesn't slip out as soon as I can see I can straighten the car out and this is all like a tenth of a second difference I'm gonna smash the throttle go flat out from this point on for a very long period of time there's a lot of time that you guys can gain here so i would definitely uh try to focus on this corner a lot and going up to a rouge i'm just trying not to uh scrub the tires take it a nice clean line keeping it flat in sixth gear cutting that apex just a little bit to get a shorter route just hugging the inside and then letting the, co the car go to the outside here let's look for a breaking point um so i'm just gonna go to the left here i'm gonna try to use the curbs on the outside to maximize my approach as much as i can i have to admit that was a little early on the brakes you can see there's a orange marker you can break a little closer to that uh but that was a little early because i wanted to set the car up nicely for the exit you can definitely compromise a lot of speed on entry to get good speed on next and that's a lot of time around 40 percent brakes because i braked early you can break a little bit uh, harder than that and a little bit later than that trail braking into the first uh, curb 
mounting it nicely this vrs setup is really good on the curbs you can abuse them all you want and as i sort of halfway through it i'm gonna start accelerating back up again i'm not gonna be too aggressive as you can see i'm being quite smooth uh when took it from 50 to around 70 percent and then immediately lifting off again because i want that turn in on the left hander here i want to hug the curb as well and i'm going back to the troll again same approach 50 40 50 60 percent and straighten the car out i think i'm gonna go flat out here for a little bit yeah going as much to as much to the left as possible and i'm lifting again on entry to get the rotation done and you can actually try to stay flat out here uh the thing is it does tend to overheat the rear tires and you really want your rear tires for the next corner so i like lifting here i like being cautious i'm going back to the fall as i hit the apex still kind of fiddling around with it trying to get the best uh the best approach and a nice clean line for the exit i don't want to abuse this curb too much because it is an off track staying on the left let's look for a breaking point uh, i think right after the curb begins yeah so right after the curb begins i'm gonna break around 50 percent pretty hard braking going downhill I'm, I'm not trying to turn in too early here i like to hug the inside but sort of do it very gradually as you can see i'm not trying to hug the inside too early here take a nice smooth line the whole way through stay close to the curb you don't need to mount it the car is nice and neutral at this point it does have a tendency to over rotate on entry or in, or in the mid corner as well so if you keep it nice and neutral and be very smooth with the with your uh inputs with your especially with your wheel uh application it's going to be a lot easier for you starting to probe for the grip with the throttle a little bit maintaining the speed throughout the corner and as i'm about 60 70 percent through it i'm going to start accelerating back out again I'm trying to be as close to the curb as you can before you start accelerating because you want to have that exit uh that room for you to exit the corner quickly and enough time to go back to the right again up the third gear let's look at it uh, a little bit quicker up the third gear using this curb you can use a lot more of it actually if you want to try to maximize it i'm just worried about upsetting the car too much uh, a little bit of child braking just a just a tad nothing too serious uh five percent ish all the way into the apex i missed the apex just a little bit if you don't miss it there's maybe another half a tenth for you if you put your front left right around here and i'm already accelerating back out again 50 60 and as i know i can commit and i'm not getting off track here i'm going back to 100 percent sticking to the right here again and we're looking for a breaking point not much of a visual marker i'm looking at the corner just sort of know when i'm doing it this is all fifth gear i'm gonna lift very aggressively very abruptly and i'm gonna brake very gently so you lift hard to shift the weight to the front and a little bit of braking just to assist that a little bit more you want to keep the the rear end kind of loose the whole way through because you don't want to understeer you want to be as soon as possible you want to go back to the throttle as soon as possible a little neutrality here just to see where the car is going i can see i have the rotation five percent trail braking and i'm going back to 50 percent and as i can see the car is making it through the corner back to 100 the two stages here with the throttle and i'm staying flat out the whole way through try not to scrub the tires too much letting the car go a little wide here don't need to mount the car the curb and going back to the left i'm gonna start braking uh right around after i would say five or ten meters after the curb starts let's look at it uh slowly maybe five meters after the curb starts into fourth gear trying to take it as a fourth gear cor corner and only uh, downshift into third very late now this is a tricky corner i don't know it's if it's because of the characteristics of the car or the setup but it has a tendency to really over rotate here so i might give it a little bit of see a little bit of braking and throttle at the same time just to maintain the back end uh downshift very late into third hugging the inside that that's when the downshift just happened hugging the inside and i can already go back to the fall i got plenty of rotation 50 60 percent 70 80 percent trying to hug the inside and stay on the right as much as you can to open up the next corner and another lift here just to get the rotation done big lift big aggressive lift the car rotates nicely i can put two wheels on the curb and i'm going back to 50 60 percent 
maintaining the car through the corner and now i'm gonna fl go flat out as i know i'm kind of safe from the exit here very easy to get an off track so i'm trying to avoid those nice and easy another tricky braking point i'm braking quite early here i think you can brake a little bit later but i am braking quite early here because i want to make sure the exit here is vital there is so much speed to gain if you get a good exit here you can see it on my delta on the, on the lap around 50 percent as the curb starts into third gear trail breaking into it very gentle trail break into the mid corner clipping the apex nicely getting on that curb it's it's really nice for this car to get on those curbs early and you can just rotate the car nicely uh i don't know around 70 percent immediately and maybe and then going back pretty much a tenth after into full throttle as i know the car is safe using the curb on the outside the car doesn't bottom out and we can just stay flat out from this point on nice smooth line here not trying to scrub the tires at all using as little input as i can opening up the wheel and going back to the right take a nice short route again a short route cutting this diagonally and i don't need all of the track here i can actually stay sort of in the middle there's just so much downforce you don't really need it nice and easy staying flat out and this is a very crucial breaking point uh i don't know maybe 20 meters before the curb starts there's not much of a visual indication here so you're really gonna have to feel it out you can probably break a little bit later than that i like breaking a tiny bit earlier just not to burn up the front tires you are going uphill so you can use a lot of brakes i, I would say that's around 70 percent stealing to the left just a little bit start trying to stay on the left for as long as possible because i want to turn in late here on the trail break now keeping it in second the whole way through five percent maybe a little bit more just to correct it and uh, as i go into the apex and now the car is neutral i'm gonna go back to the fall just a little bit to stabilize the back end i want to hug the, the inside as much as i can and stay on the right and i'm gonna time my lift and turn in simultaneously to get as much turn in as i can for the second apex tiny dap of the brakes you can probably avoid using the brakes here i probably shouldn't have uh, used the brakes but i don't think it cost me that much so if it's more convenient more comfortable for you guys to uh use the brakes here by all means do it apparently that's what i like to do i, I don't even remember doing it and again i got really nice rotation so i can go back to the fall very early not doing it in one go because like, there's no downforce here so you just want to prepare the rear end put some weight on it with around 60 percent throttle and as the weight goes in as you open up the wheel go back immediately to 100 percent and that will give us a 212.513 i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments what you think and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye